Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today's video is going to be quite a different and exciting type of video. I was really eager to try out this video called mixing like all my poly gels or mixing all my acrylics or gel polishes. So I really was waiting for my poly gel collection to kind of build up and get a little big before I could actually mix a bunch of different poly gels together. So today's video is actually going to be making two poly gels. So the first one is going to be like all my coloured poly gels and the second one is going to be all my glitter slash shimmery kind of poly gels. And I didn't like mix those two because I just felt like um, the coloured poly gels would just hide all that glitter. So there was no point so I just did them separately. And yeah, I'm just really excited for this video because I had no idea what kind of colour I was going to make. And yeah, it definitely felt very, very fun to do and very, I felt very sciencey in a way. But yeah, this was really fun to do. I will be linking the reviews to the poly gels that I'm using in this video down below if I can. I will try my best to link every single one. There are quite a few, so... If there's like a specific poly gel color that maybe you saw me put in the bowl and you wanted to know what kit that's from let me know down in the comment section and i will be more than happy to try and kind of direct you towards um which video i reviewed that in if that makes sense so yeah most of these poly gels that i'm using today are from mccart um some are from madame glam and then the rest are like random brands from Amazon. And I do have a discount code for my cart, which is Nails by Camin, for 15% off their website, which I will link down in the description box below. And that one is an affiliate link. And another one that I have is for Madame Glam, which is Camin30 for 30% off. And that one is not an affiliate link. So it's just for you guys to get 30% off. So uh, you guys can skip past this bit, but I thought it would be fun to show you um, every single colour that I'm putting down. So uh, yeah, if you want to skip past, you definitely can. And I did try to speed this up as well, because it was definitely a very long process. But yeah, let me know um, in the comments what colour you think I'm going to make before you actually get to the end of the video. <laughs> consist of like pink slash nudish kind of tones and a couple of whites so uh, yeah I definitely did try to wait until I got like a good bunch of colors available for this um, so yeah I hope that you guys enjoy the <laughs> end result um, I'm not gonna spoil anything but yeah let me know what you guys think and also don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already I will be very grateful if you could do that for me and I also want to say a big thank you to everyone who comments and likes my videos because I'm really close to hitting 10k hopefully this month or maybe the next and yeah so thank you guys so so much that was one of my milestones that I've almost hit so yes just want to say thank you to everyone for the love and support and watching my videos and yeah you guys are amazing
Okay, and now that that is done, it definitely is looking a bit like a mess, but yeah, was really interested to like mix it all up really soon. So now I'm going to move on to my shimmery and glitter poly gels. These are mostly again from McCart, a random one from Yayogi and um, another one from like an Amazon. I think it's called called Ohuhu or something like that. Um, it was a, um, a review I did on a poly gel kit. I will link that down below. And yeah, this was very interesting. I was really, I was actually more excited for these ones than the other ones because I just really like like glittery poly gels. I think they're just so pretty. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this segment as well. Okay, and I think I'm about to finish now, which was very long, but yeah, those just definitely look so pretty in the bowl. So now before I mix them, I'm coating my spatula end of my poly gel brush with some base coat just to like get all the poly gel off kind of easily. And then I'm going around and this was just so satisfying for me to do. That dark blue was definitely like so pretty, like I'm in love with the dark blues, but yeah. This was just really, really fun. It looked really cool in the spatula as well. Definitely a look. And now I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything up. I'm going to try my best to get everything off the edges as well of the bowl. Um, but yeah, as I started mixing it, I could tell that it was going to be like some, like some brownie kind of shade. Um, so yeah. As soon as I mixed it, I could definitely tell it was. As you can see, I'm trying to get like everything off the edges as best as I can. And then mixing that up. It's actually quite tough to mix poly gel. I didn't think it was going to be this tough and it's not even that cold in my room. So I feel like all the poly gel was quite soft. But yeah, this is the colour it basically made. It was like a lightish kind of brown, like a nudish kind of brown. Um... But you'll see later in the video, um, it's it will it will actually look a little different, a little um, in my opinion it looks a little nicer later. But you'll see what I mean. So now onto the glitters. Was really excited for this one, and this one was much easier to mix. And I thought it was going to be like a brown kind of glitter, but you'll see in a minute what it will be. And I think with this one, the red. Uh, poly uh, poly gel really helped so it looks a little brown in the bowl but in real life it looked a little bit more rose gold so that was really really nice because i don't have a rose gold poly gel so this was really interesting and this was a lot easier to mix and i really found that the chunky um glitter that i had in there really helped to like throw in some iridescent greeny kind of bits in there which was really nice you'll see later on so now I'm just um, applying some 
base coat to my flexi hand. I got this from Glitter Planet UK and I've just quickly stuck on my tips as well with some base coat gel and I just like to get my file with my stiletto nail tips and just file the edges ever so slightly. This is super quick and only takes me like less than a second on each finger. It's just very quick. I mean less than a minute, not less than a second. Um, but yeah, just stick on whatever tips you have if you're also trying this on or you could also do it on yourself but I didn't really fancy putting that brown -ish shade on my nails I was quite enjoying the nails I have on currently which I will also link down below if you're interested to see how I did those so after that I'm just using my brush and putting that straight on the nail I found that it was so soft that the base coat brush was like kind of moving it around which was different I guess um, and as you can see as I'm spreading it out it's like a very lightish brownish nude shade which is actually really pretty I really liked it I don't have anything like this so I'm really happy I decided to give this a go and it was really really soft I assume it's gonna be uh, because of all of that mixing it kind of um, made it easier to kind of move that poly gel around and for some of the nails I'm gonna be incorporating some of that beautiful glitter as well because yeah I feel like the glitter and this brownish nude shade that I made low-key kind of complement each other it's like they were glitters and colors made for each other so yeah I was really happy about that and you'll see in a minute that they do complement each other in my opinion I feel like it's like a nice um, this color would be a nice way to create like a subtle kind of simple but elegant nail look with a little bit of shimmer um, yeah, I just thought that the shimmer part of the video was just really really pretty so do stick around for that bit I believe that this nail is going to be a ombre nail which um, Little spoiler was actually my favorite nail Because <laughs> I really liked it and yeah This is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the video just creating a quick set so just so I can show you guys a bit more um, of what the color looks like it definitely did look different in the bowl compared to on the nail so yeah Okay, now moving on to that glitter, very, very pretty glitter. It looks a lot paler on camera now that I think about it. Um, yeah, it actually looks a bit paler on camera. I don't know why it looks, you know, a bit more pinkyish in the bowl. But anyway, regardless, it still looks great. And this is what the glitter looks like. As you can tell, it's like that subtle kind of shimmer, kind of glitter. It kind of gave me like a wedding nail kind of shimmer vibe i guess it was like very subtle and very elegant i guess i really really like this and this is my favorite one it's gonna be the ombre nail and as you can see it just looks so good with that brown and yeah i just really i'm happy that this is what the shimmer looks like i wasn't really expecting to make any like red or pink kind of poly gel I guess because um, I did mix a bunch of other things in there so I was kind of expecting like a I was expecting more of like a pinkish nudish but I wasn't really expecting a brownish I guess but yeah this was definitely very interesting to see and for this now it's um, I'm not sure what this now was I guess I just wanted to incorporate some of that shimmer into the nail and yeah that's pretty much what this nail is and again, don't forget, if you do want to use my discount code, Nails by Kamin, it will give you 15% off macart.com. Now I'm just bringing that shimmer out a little bit more with some silver nail foil and then doing some floral foil, which kind of failed. So I'm going to add a bit more, um, what is this called? Foil gel. And then whilst that's in the lamp, I'm putting on some crystals. These are from AliExpress. They're amazing and I love them. 
and now I'm going in on the thumb with some more floral foil. This is the To Be Glam floral foil uh, kit, I believe. It's really, really pretty. And I really like these foils, especially the foil glue. It's super sticky and super, super good. So yeah. <laughs> 